morning, Vera. Good morning, Anthony. George is up to something again. Today, we are going to study a compass. Just look here. The blue needle always points to the mountain. So you will always know where the mountain is and where the lake is. I don't need a compass. I can see the mountain and lake from here. If you want my opinion, this is a really useless device. It's beautiful, though. I want to remind you that we are here because I've read the book How to Become a Pathfinder for three days. We need a compass in order not to get lost in the forest. But why would we get lost anyway, George? Maybe Ethan can never get lost, is that it? Guys, mm -hmm. stop it. You think I can't get lost? Let's go right now and I will show you how I can get lost. And you can't get lost on rails. Ugh, they always lead to the city. Ha! Ha! Ha ha ha! Mm-hmm. Ew, it's way too sunny right now. Maybe we will get lost in the evening, George. Will Pathfinders only get lost during the day? Uh-huh. <laughs> I think we need to get off the rails. Ugh. Right. And now you have to close your eyes, go a few yards with eyes closed, and we will definitely get lost after that. I assure you of that, guys. <laughs> Ow! Oh. I'm tired of this stupidity, guys. That's it. I'm going home right now. Oh, where's the way back home? Hooray! Oh. We got lost, guys! Oh. Now your compass is gonna help us. So the mountain is over there and the lake is over there. That's all very good, but can your compass show the way home? Hmm? Hmm. Help us, somebody! We're lost! We're lost! The main thing is to orient yourself in the woods. I read that moss grows in the north, so north is over there. Anthony, you will oversleep. <laughs> moss? Okay, the north is over there. Or maybe there? <laughs> if we need to know where to go, we need to remember where we came from. Okay, we went to the forest. The sun was shining into my eyes. The sun, of course. If the sun was shining in your eyes, it means that we were going towards the mountain because the sun comes from the mountain in the morning. Guys, if we want to get back home, we need to go the opposite direction. Ugh, towards the lake. <laughs> <laughs> So good we had the compass. <laughs> oh. So it's good we had the sun, right? Mm? It's so good George hasn't read the book How to Be a Lost Pathfinder yet. <laughs> <laughs> This is our Hall of Fame, everybody. Tomorrow is Victory Day, and I've decided to bring you here to learn a few things about our past. Look over here, come quick. It's a locomotive. And I thought that only tanks and cannons took part in the war. Locomotives, too. They were important in the war as well, of course. They performed the most difficult and important job of all. They brought ammunition for our troops and transported mm -hmm. the wounded to the hospitals behind our lines. It's for bravery. Whose medal is this? It belongs to a hero, an unknown locomotive. Our troops were completely surrounded. They were almost all out of ammunition. And then suddenly, one brave locomotive broke through the enemy's lines and brought them ammunition. 
After our troops received the supplies, they broke the occupation, and they won. But the locomotive was wounded, and he lost his wheel. He deserves this medal, but unfortunately he wasn't alive to receive it, and nobody even remembers his name. How is that possible? Anything can happen in a war. Do you know what happened to that train? Nobody really knows. It's written on the medal, Medal for the Unknown Hero. Hmm. And now you know whose example you should be following. Now George, Vera, and I are going to the concert hall for the preparations before the big show this evening. And me? Well, how would you like to go to Grandpa Billy and invite him to come to the concert? He's also a veteran of the war. <laughs> Hello there, Grandpa Billy. Well, hello there, Ethan, my boy. My dad told me to invite you to our concert, which is tomorrow. Oh, thank you so much for the invitation. I'll definitely come. See you tomorrow, Billy. <gasps> oh, dear me. What happened, Ethan, my boy? What happened? Well, was that you who broke the occupation and brought ammunitions to the troops? Well, where did you hear that from? Who was it that told you my that story? My father told me at the museum. Well, why do you think, well, why do you think that was me, huh? It's the numbers that are on your wheel. They're the same as the one in the picture. There was also a medal in the museum. Hey. Grandpa Billy, why didn't you tell anyone that it was you who did all of that? That's a real feat you did, you know. You deserve a medal for that. Oh, Ethan, my boy, there's only one real reward when you're fighting a war, and that is victory, victory. And that's what we all fought for. Yes, indeed. And after all of these years, we finally know the name of the unknown hero. And we finally know whose medal that was that we saw back in the museum. Hmm. Ah, thank you, thank you so much, Ethan. Yes, indeed, you are very observant. You are just like a real Secret Service agent. That's what I would say you are, my boy. Happy holiday, Hooray. Grandpa Billy. Oh, that's so very beautiful. In two days' time, there will be a young talents competition from the train city for whoever loves painting and sculpturing. Great! I will make a colorful still life painting. I have a wonderful idea. I will fashion a vase from clay. We should, we draw, should draw a landscape, landscape. A forest, a forest maybe, maybe, or a river. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to do then? Whatever we do, we are going to win first place, I say. See you at the competition, guys. Sam Sparky, so what are we going to draw all mold? Well, the first thing we do is see what others are creating. And then we shall decide. Painting is all about the brushwork. The more touches you make, the better it gets. Hmm, not enough dashes. I need more, I need much more strokes than that. So Ethan is a pretty strong competitor. We could never paint such a great piece as him, guys. Wow, this is so beautiful. I'm gonna draw a forest. And I'll draw a river. Sam Sparky, wait, wait. The girls are strong painters too, I'm afraid. We couldn't paint such a great landscape. Does hay soak up rain fast? Well, wait and see. Hmm. There is an indisputable similarity. Yet something is missing. The handles are missing. <laughs> That's weird. It's exactly the same as the picture.
Well, guys, George is excellent with clay. We would never manage a pot like this. Hey. Well, that's a whole different story. Now it looks almost the same. How could we get the first place if they're all so talented, Sam Sparky? I just figured out a really good idea. That's oh amazing. My. What a resemblance. Where's Sam Sparky himself? Uh, you know, Sam Sparky isn't feeling well. He couldn't make it here. That's too bad. The first prize goes to the bronze Sam Sparky statue. Congratulations! <laughs> oh. oh, please forgive us. We just wanted to surprise everybody. But unfortunately, we failed. Oh, no, you didn't fail to surprise us. <laughs> <laughs> we shall give a first place prize to all the participants for their talent and their creativity. I have an awesome idea. Are you sure it's awesome? Done, but there are too many sales. The more, the better. Ethan, good job. Oh, the weather is bad. Ethan, remove the sails. A storm is coming. I'm not afraid. I have eh, 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 anchors. Ah, George, help me. Ethan is. That's cool. I want to do that. George, are you waiting for your turn? What is this circus? Huh? Circus? Coming to our city? They say we'll have a circus. Come see it and I'll be there. It's always a circus around here without an actual circus. Oh, I've had a headache since morning. I'm just sure it's going to rain. Why are you always in a hurry, Ethan? I'm not! I just can't stop! I'm trying, but I can't stop it. My brakes are very old. Grandpa Billy and Ethan work in a circus? Aton, go to Mr. Clockface. What's going on? Oh, thank you, Mr. Clockface. 
You're welcome. Just tell me what that was. Hey, will there be other races? Why don't you ask the policeman? Adults never let children take part in races, but they race themselves. Now, do you understand your mistake? The sails were too big. Of course, we'll make them smaller next time. And we will repair my brakes and... Uh... There will be no next time. Oh, really? I can't believe my ears. I don't think it's interesting being a ship. But being a plane... Ah, <laughs> uh, no free places. Let's go to a shooting gallery. We can put a pillow under the wheel. That way, it will be easier to aim. What's that? I'm going to sleep here? Well... I'll give it a try. What a surprise! <gasps> Did you put that hypnotic pillow under my wheel on purpose? Daryl, you... The surprises go on. Where is General? Uh, this is outrageous. This is hooliganism, not a carousel. Uh. Ah, how, how plush, plush and, and, beautiful. and beautiful. Don't look at it. The prize is mine. We'll see whose prize it is. I can't handle this. I'm getting nervous. What's happening? Did we win? 